All right, Cody, so now that we figured out how to get right and left edge pressure out of dime flat from watching your two previous videos, what do we do to get two-way pressure? Because if they block the running back, they're picking up my pressures, and sometimes even if they don't block the running back, they're picking up my pressures. Well, today we're going to show you how to get pressure out of any play, how to get right, left, and dual pressure out of it. So today we're going to focus on the cover three because it has different blitz angles in the cover two and two men under. What we want to do is, if we want to send it, basically what we're going to do is we spread the line. And what we did from two-man under is we would spread the line, and then we would just re-blitz one guy or, or two guys or whatever. Today, we're just going to have to do a, one more adjustment. So two adjustments, and you should be able to get pressure. So we're going to base the line. Obviously, we just do that. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. We're going to spread our D-line. We're going to contain Pico. Now, you always contain Pico, and you always contain Atkins. That's always going to happen. Every single time, you contain those two D-tackles on every setup we have. And then if you want to send off the left, then you're going to just re-blitz that left edge guy, and you're going to see you're going to get that left B-gap heat. Okay? And then if you want to send it off the right, you're just going to flip it and do it on the right side. So here's the same thing, though. You're still containing those DTs. And now you're just going to blitz Gee, and you'll see pressure off the right. So pressure left, pressure right. There you go. How do you get two-way? Then you just do it to both sides. You're just going to re-blitz both DBs. So base a line. Spread your line. Contain those two DTs for me. Reblitz those guys. You can get them as close as you want. You're not at risk at all for those guys getting in the way of sliding over. And there you see du dual pressure. Why is dual pressure important? If they block the running back, which a lot of guys are doing this year because offense is very effective even with just a few routes, then you're still going to get that pressure because you're sending six instead of five. And there you see got tripped up a little bit, but we still came in pretty clean uh, on that edge. So... This now applies to every play. So here, I'll just click audible I'll show you to do it on the cover two. If you want to do it on the cover two, well, uh, real quick, you see these blitz angles are changed. You could use what we talked about, or you could just make one other adjustment. Just re-blitz peak. Um, excuse me. You just um, you would just re-blitz Johnson, and you wouldn't need to contain Pika because of that slant. So then you would just need to contain Atkins. So the only two play, the only two plays that it would change for are the cover two, two men under, which we already showed you how to get pressure out of. So you're good, you're fine. But if you want to get it out of cover four, if you want to get it out of cover one, if you want to get it out of cover zero, all those plays now you have it at your disposal. So now, you know, if I want to send, and the cool part about dying flat is you never know what's going to happen. The coverage, the the look always is the same, and you don't have to do anything about that. It's always going to look exactly the same. So, for example, uh, try to guess what I'm in, please. If, and I showed you the play, but you see now I'm in cover zero. It looks exactly like I'm in a cover three, and uh, you know I'm sending a guy for you off the right edge. And then now, still on that cover zero, but now I'm only sending one guy free. So now they're sending everybody out to try to dot me, but now I put an extra guy in coverage. And then now, now they're really confused because it looks exactly the same, but now. I'm a max coverage defense, so they're blocking everybody and using short passing patterns. And now I'm in one of the best man coverage, or the best man coverage in the game, two men under. And I got people all over the place and end up getting an interception off that. So that's the basic idea of the dime flat, guys. And that's how you use the double edge pressure. And that's how you use the dime flat uh, to its maximum capacity. You can do it out of any play. Uh, hopefully you guys got all that I needed to say. And the setups will be in the description for you. So you should be fine uh, with your setups. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you appreciate it. And if you do not appreciate it, that sucks. I hope you get off my channel ASAP. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> See you later.